I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 USSAT calculator section. College Board is describing the gap width for bridges, and they tell you what that is and give you two points. Gap width is 2.875 at 40 degrees and 1.875 at 100 degrees. And they ask for the equation for gap width. What I'm going to do is substitute in those values and since I'm seeing a 2.875 each time, I'm going to substitute in the 2.875 inches for W when T is 40. So when T equals 40, this first one gives me 40 minus 40 is 0 plus 2.875 is the correct width, 2.875. So this could be correct, but there may also be ones that work. This one gives me 40 plus 40 is 80 for when T equals 40. 80 over 60 and negative, so that's a negative number minus 2.875, that's not a positive 2.875, so that one is wrong. And similarly, down here, 40 plus 40 for 80 times 60 gives me a huge number, minus 2.875 is still a huge positive number, so choice D will not match that first point. The question is, huh? 40 minus 40 is 0, 0 times 60 is still 0, plus 2.875. Choice C also works. The question is which of those two works for our second temperature? At 100 degrees Fahrenheit, we're supposed to get 1.875. 100 minus 40 is 60, times negative 1 over 60 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 2.875 is 1.875, so that works again. Here, 100 minus 40 is 60. 60 times 60 is 3,600, plus 2.875 is a whole lot bigger than 1.875, so that is not correct. Choice A worked for both points, since two points determine the line, this is the equation of the line, choice A would be our correct answer. Alternatively, I could solve for the slope. The slope is y2 minus y1, or in this case, width 2 minus width 1, which is 1.875 minus 2.875 over temperature 2, 100 minus temperature 1, which is 40. So my slope is negative 1 over 60, which matches choices A and B. And then I need to find the intercept, or really this is written in point slope form, but once I have that slope I can plug in either point and see which one works. College Board often asks for the equation of a line based on a paragraph describing a real-world situation. So make sure you follow how I can either substitute in the two points to choose the equation of my line, or solve for the slope given two points, eliminate any options that don't work, and then for example, I could find the y-intercept, or I could just use slope, point-slope form, which is y minus y0 equals my slope times x minus x0, where here y really means w. So w minus w0 equals my slope times t minus t0, where w and 0 and t0 are the width and temperature for a particular point. So w minus the width of 2.875 equals my slope, which I found was negative 1 over 60, times my temperature minus the temperature that is, was associated with 2.875 is 40. And if I add 2.875 to both sides, that comes out of the formula W equals negative 1 over 60, T minus 40, plus 2.875, which is choice A. In this case, of course, substituting in points into the answer choices is easier and faster than solving for the slope and then writing it in point slope form. But all correct answers are, of course, correct. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.